Hi, my name's Simon from Motordrome and today we're going to take a walk around and a drive of this uh, wonderfully early 1983 Land Rover 110 V8 County Station Wagon. Um, bit of a rarity this one. Hope you like it. Okay, let's walk around this uh, rather lovely in my opinion. Um, 1983 uh, Land Rover 110 V8 County Station Wagon. Now this is one of the very first 110s. Um, with the uh, with the sliding side windows and the original doors uh, and the four-speed gearbox which is uh, highly unusual I haven't seen one of these for years and this is absolutely lovely um, a real survivor beautiful example in my opinion um, largely original paint it's got the uh, the correct wheels on it it's got uh, county side step what's the, the proper side steps um, galvanized front bumper it's got all the proper sliding windows and stuff on it, all the original decals. Mud flaps to the rear, tow pack, rear step. In the back, the rearmost set of seats should really have uh, bench seats running right along there and along there. Uh, I guess a previous owner has taken them out. A lot of people do these days for insurance reasons. Insurance, some insurance companies don't like um, the 12 seater version. So uh, they've been taken out. We have spoken to Exmoor Trim. They will make up a set of the correct seats, not a problem. Um, but there's a three month lead time on them uh, to, get the, uh, to get the material, but it can be done. Um, but I think most people would be quite happy with uh, five or six seats. Um, da -da -da -da, what else have we got? It's got these nice uh, blind spot mirrors on it. They seem to be sort of uh, a nice addition. Not seen those before, but they're pretty good. Um, the only other concession to modernity is a modern stereo, uh, a Sony Bluetooth system. Um, and as I say, you don't see this very often. That's the original four-speed gearbox with the uh, um, with the pneumatic diff lock and the high-low down there. Um, doesn't often come up those. Haven't had one for years, absolutely years. I don't think this one's ever had mat, ever had carpets in it, incidentally, because it has got these mats, and I can't find any trace of it ever having been carpeted. Although obviously it has lost its tunnel carpet. Now, one point, um, strictly speaking, the middle seat should have a lap belt on it. Uh, when the last owner took it for MOT, the MOT station said, eh, "Where's your lap belt?" So he unbolted the seat. So at the moment, the middle seat is. Um, uh, isn't fixed in obviously we can either take it out completely if you don't want it um, or you can have a cubby box in there uh, or we can bolt it down and fit a um, fit a lap belt not a problem um, but we just we just left it as it is for the minute just there's no point in bolting it down if no if somebody wants to take it out anyway let's walk around and pick out some good bits and bad bits um, the paint work is this this vehicle is now 37 years old and the paint looks largely original I won't say 100% original uh, just to cover myself because there's probably a few a few bits that have been touched in but it is gorgeously original I'm not going to go through every blemish and mark because obviously after 37 years there will be quite a lot of them but um, just uh, it's it's beautifully patinated and we deliberately haven't done things like black up the um, the grill and the headlight covers because this is yeah it's a patinated vehicle um, it has obviously had checker plate at some point on the wing tops and the bonnet um, obviously someone has quite rightly taken that off but uh, they've put the they covered the rivet holes up with rivets so you have got rivets on the wing tops and the bonnet as you can see lots of uh, chips and paint lots of things down there yes, I think this is lovely this one I really do tempted not to sell it just to put it away looking down the near side it looks really really straight down there As I say, I'm not going to go through every single mark and point them out. You can see what's what, really. Show you a bit inside here. I've crawled underneath it, as has my workshop, and the chassis seems to be absolutely superb on it. Puts a lot of newer ones to shame. Got the uh, A-post. Bit of bubbling up here. Possibly it's had some paint work here on the um, uh, on the scuffle vent, because you can see it's been brushed in. And obviously had a bit up here as well because a bit of over bit of uh, over painting on the rubber that is an original 
very early door, two piece with lifting handles. Still got its original door card. Frame is perfect on it. Um, it feels solid up the top here as well. If I try flexing it, no movement in the hinges. Near side front footwell and a post. And the door's shut beautifully. Again, put a lot of later models to shame. Um, B post. Near side rear door, again with its proper door card. And again, all in excellent shape. That's the bottom of the C post. It's got incidentally its original sort of hairy headlining as it should do. Uh, the seats are all in pretty good shape, certainly in the front. Back ones, the, the faces are nice, but there's a couple of nicks in the backrests, I think. In those ones there. It is so nice, this. I'm not trying to influence you, it's just my opinion, I think it's lovely. Um, near side rear wing. Again, have a look underneath here. Around the tail end. Again, we haven't blacked up the rear cross member. I'd rather people see exactly what's what. No pretensions on this one at all. It's got uh, uh, work light on the back there. Don't know if that still works. Um, last owner had some carpet sitting around, so fitted this grey carpet in the back. Um, but yeah, it's just the uh, just the paint underneath there. But we've left that in. Rear door card has seen a bit of life. But again, the tailgate, bottom edge, better than a lot that are 20 years newer. <laughs> Looking down the offside, again, really straight. I've just driven it through a puddle, so there are a few dirty marks on this side. Do look good in Trident Green with limestone, I think. Real sort of period colour. Again, the door, the door frames are perfect and they shut beautifully as well. That hole is supposed to be there, incidentally. It's just where the floor plate sits there. Uh, but the B, the C post to the um, to the side rail join is good. Driver's door. Yeah, I've got a couple of, couple of spots of mud on this side. Apologies for that. We will wipe them off. Slight dink in the front of the offside front wing there. Again, we'll have a look underneath here. Door frame again in perfect condition. Well, it's perfect as a 30, 37 year old one's ever going to be. It's had a speedo change, it's so it's showing just over 17,000 miles. The speedo seems to have stopped working at about 99, so um, that mileage, if you put a one in front of it, it's probably there or thereabouts right, but we will be selling it as mileage known incorrect. Driver's seat all in good shape. Headlining all in good shape. It, it, yeah, this is this is great. It really is. A rare find. So I think there we have it. Um, 
My name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495 or you can go to our website which is www.moto-drome.com. Well, I'll just show you the engine running on this uh, Land Rover 110 V8 County Station Wagon. You can see you've got uh, header exhaust on it, uh, poly carburetor, Adel Brock manifold. It's a very nicely set up V8. Magnet 4 leads. Under the bonnet as well. 